Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create toroidal bend feature or how to create a tire. I'll start from scratch and we will create a first extrude feature. For a first extrude feature we need to select the base datum feature, some base sketch plane. We would like to create the first center rectangle and it will be placed directly in the middle and specify some base dimension. So I will finish extrude feature and we will create a really thin model. I don't want to see the datum feature so we can select this one and we can start and continue. For a quick example, I will start create a toroidal bend feature and you can see here that for bend feature you can select it, you can work with solid geometry. What does it mean? That system will work with 3D data as a solid, not surface model. If you would like to work with surface model, don't select this checkbox. Then it's necessary to create a profile section. This profile section can be implemented directly in this feature. So I will use this function right now. So define and define the sketch plane. If you confirm, the system will jump to the sketch and directly in the sketch is necessary to specify coordinate system. So I will place the coordinate system over here in the left bottom corner. And then I will create for first example on this straight line. If you use the Alt key, this, you can specify the reference surface and then system will create for you nice straight line. For now is everything so you can confirm OK and you can see the system will automatically count some value. You know that I used the length of my base extra feature. It was a 1000 and if you would like to specify the almost closed circle you know that it is necessary to divide by p, so 3.14. Yeah, it's a half of the circle. Divide by 2, the system will create almost closed circle. Why almost? Because you don't use the real p number, so minimum radius, what you can use or you can use something bigger. So for example, 250 or for example, 200 here, yeah, and system will automatically calculate the radius and then the system will spin model around the axis. If you would like to close this circle, you can use, don't use the radius, but use 360 degree band. What does it mean? The system asks you, the datum plane or planar surface for the beginning yeah so this one and then you need to select the end surface so select and confirm end surface and the system will really nicely close the object it was easy so you said okay you would like to show me some tire okay i'd like to show you how to create a tire step by step so over here in the sketch I use the straight line. We can have a look for some modifications so I like to use the edit definition and directly in the sketch I don't want to use the straight line I like to use the straight and then a bend a little bit so we can di divide the curve you can select the point you can specify dimension you can delete anything if you want so over here is the start point for the curve. So system going straight on. And then I like to use the arc. What is necessary to do is specify tangents. So you know that if you will go straight on the line, the system will create automatic tangent constraint, or you can specify your, your constraint here. Specify dimensions, what you want. Yeah. And for example, if I have, it's OK. And then if you come from OK, the system will automatically create toroidal band based on the curve 
for the driven curve, go strain and a little bit use the curve here. Yeah, so some bend. For now, I use only standard extrude feature and toroidal bend. So I don't want to show you some really easy shape, so we can continue with some under the modification and I like to delete toroidal bend feature and I will create some modification for it. Okay, I will create the rectangle here and over here in the future I would like to create a pattern feature and use the fill function. So let's continue and we will specify some nice shape for it. Yeah, and for example, we would like to create a pattern of this shape. If we would like to spin this model a little bit or shape, you can rotate and spin it. Yeah. So this shape I'd like to create as an extra feature here. For example, this one. And this extra feature I'd like to pattern but not definite by dimension yeah i like to use the fill function and system ask you for select closed loop so i like to select this rectangle you can see here that it's the possible to specify orientation some base dimensions for example shape how the system will orient the pattern feature or you can specify offset value from the boundary so it's up to you what you choose, what shape of the pattern and come from OK. System create for me, really nice shape. Yeah. If you would like to work with tire, you know that, for example, you would like to move it a little bit directly inside. So you can select edit definition and you can move it directly here. It will be much, much better. And for example, you would like to use some round feature or, or chamfer feature or some draft and so on. So it's up to you. For visualization, it will be much better this one. And we know that we would like to use this round feature with some small dimensions. And then again, for example, here, we would like to use the chamfer. So go to the pattern feature and confirm and make reference pattern 2 for chamfer feature and confirm so you can see that i create the shape what we need you can again play with the base shape for the extrude feature and specify some another value right now i use the external sketch so i'd like to create a new sketch definite here and you, re you remember that for Toradel Band, we would like to use the coordinate system, this one, like Datum. So place the coordinate system. I use the Alt key again for the reference. Then we know that we would like to go straight on a little bit. For example, this value. Okay, if I confirm OK, we can create the Toradel band feature. We can specify the sketch, outside sketch, and then we would like to use the solid geometry. You can see the system calculated. Again, you can specify the radius. So for example, 250, and I know that I have spoken that we would like to create a closed shape, so no problem. Select 360 degree and select front surface and back surface. And you can see the system close the shape. And if I finish, you can have a look. You can play with your base gauge for the fill pattern. You can manipulate with 
first extrude feature we have specified these dots or specify some another shape. And at the end we would like to create a symmetrical object. So select the tire, use the mirror of the 3D model and select mirror plane. Confirm OK. And you can see here that for this nice toroidal bend feature I used only base modeling, some extrude feature, some sketch geometry and couple of round and chamfer pattern feature. And at the end one toroidal bend and your tire is definite by curve for is driven of the this toroidal bend feature. I hope so that you like this tutorial. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Vladimir.